Now that we have completed with the user section here, we have two section, user types and users. And in our website, we will have two types of row. One will be customer and other will be admin. So the functionality of service type and users should only be accessible to admin of the website. And when roles comes into picture, there is one important aspect with any website, that is authorization. In any website, authentication and authorization are two essential pieces. Authentication determines if you are authenticated, like if your username and password are valid or not. And then the second piece is authorization. Once a username and password is valid, you are authenticated and you have to think about authorization. Authorization determines what access you have in a website. Like in our case, a customer user, even though they are authenticated and they will log in, they will not have access to users or service type. Only admin users will have that access. With ASP.NET Core, authorization is super easy. Now if we close the application here, if we go to Solution Explorer, we have the utility and static details and we have our two roles for admin user and customer. So what we have to do, let me close all the documents and we'll be dealing with authorization in our Razor pages. The first page that we have is let's do with the service type. All of the pages of service type should be accessible by admin user only. So we'll have to go to the page model of all the pages and here we will add an authorize keyword. We'll do a control dot and this will apply at the class level and inside here we'll say roles is equal to here we have to access the static details and we'll say dot admin and user. Now let's run this project and see what difference it makes. We applied that to the create of service type. So if we select on create new, you see it redirects us to log in. And here if you log in as a user account, it will give you access denied because only admin user have access to the create of service type. Let's apply the same authorization to all the other pages for service type first. So I'll copy that. We'll go to delete. We'll paste it here. We'll do control dot to add the references. We'll do the same for details. And we'll do the same for edit and index as well. So this was all you had to do with the service type. But we also have users and all the pages in the users should be accessible by only admin users. So we'll apply the same authorized keywords. We'll go to solution, do the same in edit. And we'll do the same in delete. And here you make sure that you select using Microsoft ASP.NET Core dot authorization. And here it should be roles and not rule. Let me make sure I did the same in edit. Great. Now if you go to Solution Explorer, we do not have any other Razor pages. We have the identity, but that you do not have to worry right now. So the next pages that we will add, we will make sure we add the authorization. Now let me run my application here and I want to show you one important piece.